Okay, I'm going to talk about grep real quick. Grep is our next assignment. And I'm going to somehow see, oh, this is Adobe, okay. Grep is a search tool. It's came out in Unix, but it's available in many languages or many platforms. Um, so we're going to talk about some of these, these, these components, and we're going to do a demo, okay. They don't mean the same thing as they do in DOS, but let's walk through a few. Okay, a period, for instance, matches any character. So if I did, you know, John period Smith as my search terms, it would return John Space Smith, John Comma Smith, John Q Smith, or John Smith. So if you use a period, it just means anything. Okay, I'm going to show you a demo how to do this. So if I type John period Smith, the period would tell grep, replace the period with anything or nothing. One character. If I did period asterisk, that would mean replaced with anything unlimited number of times. So it could be John, Jacob, Dingerwater, or Smith, or something. You know, it could be that whole thing. Okay. okay. Brackets. This here, oh, cancel. The, the little brackets here basically says so whatever's inside the brackets is A through Z, not A dash Z. Let's try an A. Let it be. Then a C, it's kind of a range. Make sense? And the asterisk is anything. Now the slash period, you see the slash period right there? Slash is an escape character. Some of you might want an escape character. That means look for a literal period. So without the slash, the period means any character. With the slash, we're looking for a period and nothing but a period. See the difference how that works? Same with those brackets. If I was to put a slash prior to it, you know, that's telling it, we're not looking for a bracket, we're actually looking for, you know, we're, we're using it as an actual character, in this case, as a range identifier. Okay. Question. Yes. If you put, like, you got the bracket, whatever, but you wanted brackets included inside that range, so you have A through Z, after Z, you put a slash bracket, yes, slash, closing bracket, and then close that bracket. Yes, okay, cool. Yes, that's how you look for specific characters. So, I think we all did the, uh, the assignment with Telnet. I had to put a lot of escape characters in there because you guys had put an at sign and a period and sometimes a dash and stuff that a lot of times ends up being a special character. Now, there's, well, actually, we'll get to that in a second. But um, I give you a few examples in here. The pound matches any character. I'm sorry, any number. So that would give us any of these. So why I want to get these? Number? Well, because it doesn't have a dash. Because, yeah, there's literally a dash in there, so it has to be 3 dash 3 dash 3. Okay. Now, if I put in a, a period there, it would have gotten that. It would get it with a dash, without a dash, with anything. So we're going to see examples of that again. So, okay, this will give us phone numbers. Now, this here basically says, now repeat as many times, or really, okay. So to get this, because of the parentheses and then the 909. But actually, let me just show you an example of that. It'll be much easier, because that one's kind of a, so we're gonna show an example here in a second, okay? Let me talk about the assignment, and then we're gonna walk into examples. It'll be much easier to see. Now, in this assignment, this is your last assignment, Okay, what I've done was I have a suspect SD card it has a malicious date on it. I'm going to give you the SD card, you're going to search through and find the date. Easy enough. Yeah. But there's always a trick involved in everything. No, I'm not. <laughs> okay, you are welcome to use in case 8 or FTK, any version, up to you. Whichever one you feel comfortable, they will both work. I actually verified it today. Uh, you need to get the license and service set up. You all should know that by now. Um, if you don't have the license, you can run the demo version of FDK because there's nothing in the file. You should be fine with that one. Okay, do this yourself. An, SD, an image SD card has been supplied using MQ or FDK and grab search the entire drive and answer the questions below. And there's what the image is called. And I'm actually going to do it with a demo here in a second. 
Now I'm going to ask you down here, what is the first Voyager credit card number ending in a one? What is the second credit card? And so on and so forth. Okay. Um, yeah, the first ending in a two and the first ending in a three, so on and so forth. Voyager, so many people have issues with this. So I, I try to put it in English. <laughs> Voyager is a specific type of credit card. Okay. It's not an Expedia card, because there is an Expedia Voyager card. That's not it. It's not a MasterCard. It's not a Visa. It's, not, it's literally a Voyager credit card. Okay. Don't ask me what a Voyager credit card is. Somebody like it? No. Just find that. Okay. It's on the internet. I verified it. It still works. I was able to find it online today. Um, now, here's another issue where I took off points for people and they got very upset. There's only five of these numbers on the image. Okay. But I want your grammar expression to work if there was more than five. Okay. There is only five. I realize that of this specific type of card. But I want your expression to work if, it's a, if I had 100 of them. So what's your expression needs to be detailed enough to find a Voyager credit card that ends in a one, and a two, and a three, and a four, and a five. Make sense? So if there was one ending in a six, you should not return that result. Get that? So many people are like, well, there's only five. Well, I know there's only five. Only those specific five. Okay. So pretend there's a bunch of other ones with varying numbers that only return those. Yes. Couldn't you just make the last digit in it uh, one or two or three or four or five? Is that a range thing? Yeah. Not that hard. I'm telling five you. Points, man. Five that's, points, man. That's not hard. <laughs> I got your five so points. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Okay, so I, this is very wordy. I, I made it longer today, just from the feedback last time. So, what is the grep expression you use to find the credit card numbers? Enter only a single grep expression that will return only the five credit card numbers. It is okay if it returns duplicates of the numbers, but there should be only five unique numbers returned. So I realize that there are only five numbers on the image, but your grep expression needs to return only those five. Okay. Assume that there are more than five, make sure expression only returns these. No hard coding. So do not write a grep expression that literally is the number. That's not good. <laughs> Somebody has done that before. Well, it worked. Well, yeah, I mean, you, you literally tell it to return the exact number, and that's not what I wanted. Okay? Easy enough? Mm. I mean, you should get 100 on this. It's very simple. Except for the tricky part. Probably. Problem. Might. Possibly. Possibly. Okay. Now I'm going to stop this, and we're going to walk through a demo.